Hello, my name is Bob Bonzar with the Yaskawa Technical Training Department. This is a series of electronic learning modules, or ELMs, for the Drive Wizard software. In this section, we will address where to find the software, the system requirements, how to install it, how to connect to your drive, and what to do for any problems or gotchas. To begin, go to the Escawa.com website. At the top, select the Products tab and Drive. You will be able to select from the different software tools available. There's Industrial, HVAC, IQ Pump, Elevator, and medium voltage. For this ELM, we will demonstrate with the industrial version. By clicking on the link, you will go to the full list of software tools available for free. There's Drive Wizard, Drive Wizard Mobile, Drive Works, Product Selector, Programming Simulators, energy saving predictor, and a harmonics estimator. Again, here we will focus on the Drive Wizard. So go ahead and click on the Drive Wizard industrial link. Here we can see the features. Now scroll down and click on the link for system requirements. Please note, not listed here in the requirements, but nowadays computers are using Windows 11. We are compliant. Also, if you happen to have Windows 7, it still may be working for you, but understand support will be limited. Also, you can see the list of drives that the version, in this case, is compatible with. We will discuss the features and other compatibilities in another video. Now what we're going to do is click on the Request for Software. You must fill out all of the fields with the red stars. It is very important that you have the correct email address that you want the email link sent to. Make sure that the radio button is selected, and then Submit. You will receive a link to the software to install it. Note that if you do not receive a link immediately, check to make sure you have the correct email address, but also give it a few extra minutes and then check your junk or spam folder. Once you've discovered the link, click on it or copy it into a browser. You want to download the file. I put it here in the downloads. Now call it up, open the zip file, and run the executable file to install it. Also note, when you're installing this software, you should do it as an administrator. If however you cannot as an administrator, you may need to enlist the help of your IT team to install the software. Now that it's installed, you can double click on the icon on your desktop. The next step is to connect to the drive. So at the top, you'll see drive selection and communication setup. Go ahead and click on that. And it will give you a drive version. It may not necessarily be the one you're connecting to because once you connect, it will update this information. You have a couple options of connecting to the drive. One using the serial interface USB or the ethernet. The serial USB is the simplest with a commercially available USB to USB mini cable. We can connect directly to the drive. 
If you have difficulty connecting using the USB serial connection, verify that you're using the correct COM port. To do this, you simply go to your computer, select Device Manager, and then look at the COM port selection. The COM port that your USB cables plugged into on the computer should appear. Usually it identifies the Yaskawa name in that same port. Now we have established a connection. We can click Test or Scan for the drive and then connect to the drive. If you've had any prior experiences with other DriveWizard installations, you'll note that the driver is installed separately. Here it's done automatically. It's very simple. For Ethernet, you must use an Ethernet option card to connect to the drive. You would plug into your computer with one end of the Ethernet cable, and the other end would go into the option card. Then it's a matter of setting up the port data. Setting up the Ethernet connection. In the Drive Wizard, you'll want to go to the Communication Setup and Network Configurator. At the same time, on your computer, in the Windows setting, configure the Ethernet connection. Click the Network and Internet. Click on Ethernet. Change Adapter Options. You will see the connection you have shown, but it's unverified. Double click on it. Select Properties from the pop up. And then select the IP version 4. Select the radio button to set the static address. This is where you will set the IP address. Verify the IP address of the Drive Wizard and set the first three values in the window setting. In this case, 192, 168, and 1. The last digits can be different. That's okay. Then in the drive, set the IP address in the F7 parameters. Make sure that you also set up F713 for static. Then cycle power of the drive. Now go back to the drive wizard and continue by scanning the network. And applying the updates. Then test the connection and scan for the drive. And now you're connected. Do not, I repeat, do not, under any circumstances, use the port that the keypad is plugged into as the Ethernet connection. It may look similar, but it will damage your PC. So again, if you're connecting Ethernet to your computer, use an Ethernet option card and follow the instructions to set that up. If again you run into any issues or problems with the installation or opening the software, again, please contact your IT team or you can simply go to the help documents on this software and it will guide you through the installation or whatever the process that you're having difficulty with. There is also a selection of documentation links that you can click on and download 
from Drive Wizard. As far as updates, you can also click at the top for the updates available. Or in the lower right hand corner, you'll notice it'll say update available. That way you'll have the most current version update of the software. You may also go to the Solution Center located on the Yaskawa website for further assistance. Type in Drive Wizard, select Yaskawa Solutions, then click Search. And you will see all the possible solutions for whatever trouble you may be experiencing with the Drive Wizard setup.